नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल वनकम आप सभी को ऑल डे मीडिया में फिर से स्वागत है आज पहली बार हमारे चैनल पर आए हैं रिटायर्ड कर्नल पवित्र राजन सर पवित्र राजन सर मिलिट्री वेटरन है ही इज अ टेक्निकल एंटरप्रेन्योर एंड एकेडमिशियन ही इज अ फॉर्मर एडवाइजर टू गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स में He is also adjunct uh, faculty at the Cyber Security Research Center, Punjab Engineering College. He has been uh, in number of coded and decoded <laughs> operations and advisor for Cyber uh, Peace Foundation as well. Sir, the list is very long, and he has served in the military for a very, very long time. And the unique part is he comes from a field which relates to cyber security and intelligence. Sir, you are called in media. Very, very welcome. uh thank you gayatri namaskaram from my side thank you sir sir um uh, ek bahut important mudda jo nikal kar aaya hai uk mein aur uska india bhi relation bahut bada hai uh, uk mein ek spy scandal break out hone wala tha hmm. and wo daba diya gaya hai for lot of obvious reasons so what is it all about so i take it that you are talking about uh, a supply chain poisoning in a in a government car where they claim that they have caught a sim card from a china, from china correct uh, it's the same incident right so ji sir uh, thoda sa hindi thoda sa please <laughs> okay hindi mein bhi hum koshish karenge par um, a supply chain poisoning jo hai uh, aajkal uh, jo bhi um, you know uh, ict hai ya car hai ya truck hai ye sare ek desh mein nahi banta ye alag alag uh, desh mein ban jata hai components And सारे एक जगह पे ले, ले आके असेंबल किया जाता है ना इन दिस थिंग वॉट इज क्लेम्ड ओके वॉट इज क्लेम्ड इज दैट अ पार्ट विच इज कम फ्रॉम चाइना हैज बीन डिटेक्टेड विद अ सिम कार्ड वेर एन डेटा वॉज गोइंग बैक टू चाइना नाउ वेन आई थिंक अबाउट इट इट इज नॉट टू मच ऑफ अ स्कैंडल बिकॉज दिस इज अ नॉम ग्लोबली वॉट एवर इक्विपमेंट टूडे यू हैव इफ यू हैव अ स्मार्टफोन that data is going all over the place uh, depending on what the oem has programmed it to go and how you also set yourself up okay same for a car uh, so i don't think it's such a big scandal but yes a government car uh, where the data go is going to china is a problem and this is a problem not only in uk it is globally it's a problem for china also if they buy western stuff i'm sure the data is going back to the west itself so back to uh, i don't see it as a scandal but it is a area of concern it has got huge national security implications we need to be cautious we need to find our ways uh, how to mitigate this uh, threat so i hope that gives you an overview back to you ji but sir inhone car mein pakda hai and uske baad us model ki jitni bhi cars thi jo china se aayi thi wo sare ke sare rukwa liye hain takriban sabhi and isme na sirf ministers hai balki government officials of very high level जो डिफरेंट टाइप्स के एक्टिविटीज इंटेलिजेंस हो गया स्पाइंग हो गया उनकी जो यू नो लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर एजेंसीज सभी की कार्स को एकदम हॉल्ट करवा दिया और सबकी इंस्पेक्शन चल रही है सो बट उसको मीडिया में ज्यादा आने नहीं दे रहे हैं जिस दिन आया उस दिन आ गया थोड़ा बहुत उसके बाद से नहीं आने दे रहे अच्छा वो क्यों आने नहीं दे रहा है उनसे पूछना पड़ेगा हमको इतना मालूम नहीं है इनके बारे में पर आ, मैं इतना ही फिर दोबारा आपका ऑडियंस के लिए बता देंगे कि दिस इज अ ग्लोबल प्रॉब्लम ठीक है इट इज अ मच बिगर प्रॉब्लम इन इंडिया एक्चुअली बिकॉज ब्रिटेन वगैरह दे हैव देयर ओन कार्स दे कैन दे हैव गॉट द इक्विपमेंट टू चेक दे हैव गॉट द थिंग वी डोंट हैव इवन आवर इक्विपमेंट टू चेक दीज कार्स ओके फॉर एग्जांपल लेट मी टेल यू अ फ्यू इयर्स बैक अ चाइनीज प्रेसिडेंट के लिए इन्होंने बोइंग से एक यू नो एक प्रेसिडेंशियल यू नो एयरक्राफ्ट ऑर्डर किया था बट चाइना नेवर अलाउड इट टू फ्लाई बिकॉज जब उन्होंने वापस ले आके चेक किया वो हर जगह पे उनमें बग्स थे ठीक है एवरीथिंग वाज सो एम्बेडेड इंक्लूडिंग इन द बाथरूम ओके नाउ वी आल्सो हैव गॉट अ प्राइम मिनिस्टीरियल एंड अ वी वीवीआईपी एयरक्राफ्ट्स व्हिच वी हैव बॉट आई डोंट थिंक वी हैव गॉट एनी कॉम्पिटेंस टू चेक दैट ओके वी आर हम तो न्यूक्लियर पावर है तो हम uh, क्या बात करता है हमारा न्यूक्लियर डिटरेंस व्हेन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज फ्लाइंग इट विल बी इन दैट इन दैट एयरक्राफ्ट so these are places where uh, uh, other powers would like to control it and i feel that we are not for us it is a bigger scandal rather than a scandal in the uk is i i would put it back bilkul sahi sir but sir uh, uh, inke sath ek attached wo aata hai you know ki uh, 
दे पुट इट लाइक दिस गारंटी पीरियड में डाल देते हैं जैसे हम जब चाइना का फोन आता है ना तो उसमें एक होता है गारंटी पीरियड टिल द टाइम यू डोंट ओपन तो लोग डर के मारे खोलते नहीं इस तरीके से तो अक्रॉस चाइना जहां जहां पर लैपटॉप जा रहे हैं फोन जा रहे हैं कार्स जा रही है क्योंकि कार के अंदर आया सर इससे पहले फोन और लैपटॉप का सबको पता होता था टिकटॉक के बारे में जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल जी सर ओके सो यस वॉट हैज कम आउट इन द प्रेस की as per the, you know when the uh, uh, original equipment manufacturer beat a car maker theek hai agar unhone bola hai ki is tarike ka spare part hona chahiye aur log ek standard create create karta hai to us standard se agar koi deviation hai to uh, that is wrong par isi mein matlab even your headline says at least one sim card capable of transmitting location data was discovered now we do not know whether it was part of that you know the uh, because like i said when you have a smart system sare technology wala system hai sare data uh, you know um, a a jo car wagera hai wo wapas original equipment manufacturer se baat karta hai agar koi uh, usi mein koi kami peshi hai ya breakdown hone wala hai preventive maintenance wagera ke liye bhi ye data chahiye hota hai par i am not saying that it is not a problem it is a huge problem so nations have to come to a, together to understand how do we deal with this now uh, one thing is very clear Oh, senior government officials, intelligence officials, military personnel, we cannot have this. Okay, कोई भी देश हो, unless they are military allies. But even if they are military allies, they still have to be careful because there is nothing called permanent, uh, you know, friendships between nations. It is only permanent interests. So this is a problem in global supply chains, which nations have to learn how to handle. And for us, especially so, because uh, we are highly vulnerable. and uh, the government has come out with the atmanirbhar policy i think it should uh, become more uh, a cohesive and a comprehensive policy where you know we can get an action through today i feel it is more uh, you know government is trying to put pressure and trying to do it but i don't think their policies uh, you know have uh, come together to make it actionable for example uh, i am one of those people who have been saying innovation is a solved problem uh, globally theek hai to usme alag alag hissa chahiye hota hai Uh, एक है आंतरप्रणय होना चाहिए एक है गवर्नमेंट होना चाहिए एकेडमिया होना चाहिए एक है रिस्क कैपिटल ओके तो रिस्क कैपिटल इट कैन नॉट बी यू नो ग्लोबल रिस्क कैपिटल और यू नो सम अदर कंट्रीज रिस्क कैपिटल इट हैज टू बी योर रिस्क कैपिटल एंड इन सर्टेन एरियाज दो रिस्क कैपिटल ग्लोबली इफ यू लुक एट इट यूशली नेशन कम अप विथ मल्टीपल स्ट्रेटेजिक वेंचर कैपिटल फंड विच इज मिसिंग हियर इन इंडिया and shayad uh, you know i am hoping hopeful the government will bring it up very soon ji sir uh, you're right aur par abhi ek bada sweet sa naya sa development aaya hai jisko leke badi khusur khusur bhi ho rahi thi ek ye jo aapki screen screen ke upar maine abhi share kiya drdo is developing rat cyborgs whose brains can be remotely controlled as they can be used to capture live feed and other data of a location where released so we are also gearing up towards uh, you know towards a better intelligence hum bhi us taraf badh rahe hain yes, but abhi this i think this i think is excellent so what is a cyborg main ye aapka audience ko batana chahunga ki ek hai robo uh, so robo is a total mechanical device this is a living organism which has been augmented with technology hai na wo asli mein ek chuha hi hai चूहा को कोई एम्बेड चीज से लगा के उसी को कंट्रोल करना फैसिनेटिंग अदर नेशंस इन फ्रॉम यूएस टू चाइना हैज डन दिस बिफोर इंडिया अभी थोड़ा लेट कर रहा है बट वो जो कर रहा है बहुत अच्छा कर रहा है आई विश दीज थिंग्स वर देयर व्हेन आई वाज इन द फील्ड एज इन्फेंट्री सोल्जर मेनी इयर्स बैक बिकॉज वी वुड हैफिनेटली लव टू हैव सच थिंग्स एंड रादर दैन रिस्क अवर पीपल्स लाइफ बिकॉज वेन यू वॉक इन टू अर रूम वेन यू नो दैट रिस्क कुड बी देयर इट इज ऑलवेज अ बिग रिस्क and uh, those days we used to take those risks we used to mitigate it to using other things but those were never perfect things and i wish i am sure that we are now moving in the right direction and uh, any nation it can only grow when it backs up its own r&d ecosystem and innovation excellent move by dr audio ji so there have been sir, similar other moves also many suna tha pigeons ko leke bhi hua hai kuch apne bharat mein hi और uh, मैंने सुना चाइना में भी चाइना में कैट्स यूज करते हैं फॉर सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ थिंग जैसे हमने रैट की बात की कि रैट में यू नो उन्होंने ब्रेन का कुछ ट्यूनिंग कर दिया है कि दैट दे कैन कैप्चर द लाइफ जी सर 
Yes. So uh, you must have heard of uh, Elon Musk coming up with his Neuralink, wherein there are, uh, you know, you will have uh, implants in your own brain and you can control uh, ICT or any other equipment with your thoughts. Now here, it, uh, I have also read that people can control other animals also through their brain, if uh, such a thing can be done. But the danger is, second, you uh, can control others, others might be also be able to control you. Uh, this is a very new, exciting field as far as, uh, you know, science is con concerned, but it's got a lot of ethical and many other issues. But I'm very happy that we have ventured into it. Yes. Uh, so other than rats, people have used, you know, I've also heard that dolphins, um, you know, like you said, cats, eagles, you know, these all have been used. So human ingenuity is such that people, once a particular technology comes into place, they will definitely find a use, use to that. So I think uh, it's a fascinating area. There are certain ethical issues. There are even some animal right issues. But I think uh, change is inevitable and we have to embrace it. I'm very happy that in India such research is happening. So do we have any other fine-tuning examples of spying? Just a rat to chalo biological field mein chala gaya, but latest development may because I'm asking especially because you come from a field, something which is in the public domain, not of the you know my confidential cheese in a pooch. So what else? Uh, you might have also heard that uh, there are psychic weapons. People have tried to, you know, there might even be waves which can, you know, uh, harm people. Um, you know, uh, people also use body language. There are people who are very, very expert in body language. Maybe you can use artificial intelligence to understand body language because they say uh, a large part of human communication is not by verbal this. It is by, it's by body cues. So... There are people I've seen, very talented. They don't need the other guy to speak. He already he, he comes to know more or less what the other person is planning to do. I've seen this in my life. So something like that, I'm sure, can come up with artificial intelligence. will make our uh, task much easier. Um, but there are, again, dangers. Is it will make the task of other people also much easier to see us. And unless we are at the technological, you know, um, um, uh, uh, we should not be left behind. We have to be at the you know uh, place where we are at the cutting edge because uh, at least for the last, uh, at least in my time in the army and for the last you know um, couple of centuries, if you look at it, we have been behind in the technology curve. We have to be an innovation economy. We have to ride the technology curve. Otherwise, history is very clear. We will always be dominated uh, by other nations and with all the resultant disadvantages. Ji. So, would you like to add any other point before we wind up? Okay. Uh, I. Okay. So, let me put it this way. Uh, aapka, uh, audience bhi, uh, you know, intelligence is James Bond movies. Dekha hoga. James Bond, kyun James Bond ban jata hai? Because there is uh, someone who always creates Q. That Q who creates him gadgets, you know, cars which can fire, cars get, which can fly, cars which can go under the water, etc., etc. Uh, even there are bugs and there are bug detection equipment. I want to say that if we start buying something from another country, they are not fools. They will give you equipment which uh, will allow us to detect their bugs. Okay, we should always stay here. Whatever they give us are things which they will test out to ensure that their bugs are not detected. So this I have seen, uh, re, uh, you know, without taking any names of any nations, a lot of our people feel that, oh, this is a friendly nation. They are aligned to us, so we can trust them. Sure, but in uh, among nations, no friendship is not there. interest is always Professional interest. Those uh, personally can be made. But nations, ke beech mein, hum to, we are the people who have created uh, this, um, you know, uh, Artha Shastra, which they say is a much more refined treatise compared to many other you know, treaties which other civilizations have produced. And for a nation who is an inheritor of the Artha Shastra, we should not be, you know, caught napping in this field and keep buying equipment. You buy radars uh, from for, a, for your planes, you might realize that those radars are controllable radars. When that nation who is selling those radars to you, uh, they might have something wherein uh, they will only show you what they want you to see. You might not end up seeing we are very vulnerable. We need to become an innovation uh, 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 economy. And Atma Nirbhar is one of the best things that word is. So I'm so happy with it. But it should not remain a word. 
we need to pressurize people to ensure that it becomes an actionable policy where things happen. I have seen a lot of people arguing that, oh, it is not part of our culture. Are, South Korea, North Korea, they are the uh, culture is different because the policy is different. China, they uh, are Deng Xiaoping, they are different from their culture. Today, no one is saying that China can't do it. Uh, culture is a fallout of policy. And if we can't take our innovation economy this is a policy failure. And all governments and civil servants should be very, very conscious of this. Especially our military. Our military's role is not just to guard the, the territorial boundaries. The military is supposed to push the envelope. They have to think strategically even in their weapon acquisition. They're trying to buy cheap and best, which is a very, very short-sighted attitude. I'm hoping maybe with programs like yours and with people getting more aware, this particular culture will change and our policies will get aligned. Thank you so much for having me on your program. Back to you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, so there's one point, uh, there's one topic I would uh, like you to elaborate on. In your different articles, especially the initial ones, you have talked about terms ki baat ki thi, global commons, which basically te- uh, territory, water, and airspace ke bhi beyond, which is what we were talking about uh, telepathy kind of things, now with coming of internet. Ji, sir. Okay, so I take it that you're referring to um... Uh, one of my articles, which I initially written, saying the fallacy of the cyber commons. A, humne tab likha jab I realized that our policies are written by old people. Okay, at the helm of affairs are people who are in their sixties and beyond. And I have realized that they have approached the subject uh, without understanding the strategic contours of it because they treated it as technology. So to make them understand that, this was my first attempt to write that and make them understand, okay. So I had written that article to make basically get uh, people who are at the helm of affairs to understand the strategic contours of cyberspace. So this words commons is for your, for your this global commons are a term which is used to denote uh, what is common for humanity, which is beyond the sovereign jurisdiction of nations. Jaise, um, um, India ka, uh, you know, maritime, this is 12, 12 kilometers stuck from the coast. It is our sovereign, sovereign jurisdiction. We might have something more where we can exploit the resources. But the high seas, where no nation exercises a common, global common. Space, global common. Okay, Antarctica is a global common. Now, uh, a article I have written this article because in India, mein, there was not too much of, uh, you know, change compared to many other nations. And I noticed it with dismay because it was the IT years industry trying to, you know, influence it and the narrative. And a lot of our, uh, you know, I felt that a lot of our people were not ready to accept. And then I realized a lot of people are ignorant about the contours of this because it was the US aim to push cyberspace as a global commons. So I just, uh, you know, uh, got into the details to tell them, no, it is not a global common. It is a controlled space. And today, like, for example, we are trying to get into a 100% digital economy. Now, how can you get in, make your economy a 100% digital economy when you don't have a privacy law? When you don't have your own, uh, you know, uh, products to control that place, uh, control that domain, uh, to control that data? Where does the data rest? And even if it's resting in our own area, can do we have our own equipment? Because we have seen that everything is backdoored. Now, during the Russia-Ukraine war, if you have seen one of the first things Ukraine asked was, can we take uh, the internet out of Russia? So, internet ek, uh, organization control karta hai called ICANN. Okay, they control something called the root zone servers. Uh, now, that root zone servers, ICANN ne bola ki, uh, that is not our charter. They didn't say that we cannot do it. They said it is not our charter. But imagine tomorrow when it becomes, you know, um, push comes to shove, when you have got a 100% digital economy, can other powers switch off your internet? Uh, so to that extent, global comments, thank you for, uh, you know, reminding me of that. Maybe you can put a small link of that article and maybe your viewers will all like to go and read that. Thank you so sure, much. Sir. Back to you. That, was, that is one of the, uh, you know, first and uh, I would say uh, one of the initial articles recognizing the 
what do you say, the positive and the negative aspects of global commons, especially in reference to internet, as uh, pointed out, and I will be putting the link in the uh, description of the video. Uh, please go and read that. Thank you so much, sir, for coming and, uh, you know, uh, sharing your valuable points. Ji. Jane se pehle sabhi viewers... Namaskar to you, sir. Jane se pehle sabhi viewers request hai, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the alternate media. Or agar aap support karna chaate, to sabhi links description box mein. Isi ke saath, jai hind. Thank you, sir. Giant to you too.